usually in the spring season. And while this is a time for renewal, rebirth, putting into action our intentions, these first few days, especially before the full moon, can be a little slow and heavy, wet. So it's good to balance this energy with some more heating, dry practice, so like air, fire practice. We'll do a little bit of that this morning. With that in mind, we're sliding our hands to the navel. Start to make some circles around the belly. You can begin to notice that just the simple shift in awareness to this part of the body starts to generate some warmth and heat. Picturing them in your mind's eye or perhaps repeat it to yourself. And we'll open with a single chant of Aum. So on the inhales, the hands radiate away from the heart. So we chant Aum and draw back to the body. Shoulders. 
Press your palms and forearms into the earth. Draw the heart between the window of the arms for sphinx. The shoulder blades glide down the back. Exhale, drop your chin, press your hips into the earth, and the navel rolls off your mat. Inhale and open the heart, stretch through the toes. Exhale, peeling navel off the earth. Inhale, opening up, shoulders down the back. Exhale, coil. Inhale and open. Two more here. Exhale. Inhale. Use the entire length of the breath. And last cycle together. Exhale. Inhale. Opening. And all the way to the mat. You can make a pillow for the forehead here. Taking a moment to pause, feel grounded. Releasing our third eye all the way to the earth. Slide your fingertips back and wider than the shoulders. Press your pelvis into the mat. As we inhale, slowly peel your heart off of the earth. Again, long through the legs. Exhale, soft. Inhale, slowly we rise. Shoulder blades hug the spine. Exhale and surrender. One more cycle. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, release. Palms flat now, mid chest level. Hug the elbows in. Rise, cobra. If you're ready, lift your thighs and stand on the hands. Upward facing dog. On the exhale, drawing back, downward facing dog. Well, as always, we spend our first few breaths in down dog, enjoying movement where it calls to us. Fingers spread nice and wide, palms rooting into the earth. Base of every finger pressing down. Softening at the back door of the heart as the thigh bones press back. Heels lengthen away from the toes and down toward the earth. So you might shake the head here, yes and no, releasing tension in the neck. Down the feet or open the hips up if that calls to you. From down dog, open your feet up the width of your mat and gently spin your heels out so the outer edges of your feet align with the inner edges of your mat. And then hook with the hands the outsides of the mat so the thumbs are pointing forward. Yes, yeah, so we're actually holding on. And then root into the heels of the hands so you can start to go deeper into the shoulders and heart. Strong in the legs for three deep breaths. Drawing back to the midline, hands shoulder width, feet hip width, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll the spine forward to plank, shoulders over wrists, and pause. From the strength of the core, exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, coming forward to plank. Exhale, strong core, hips high. Inhale, shift forward, plank. Good. Now just chaturanga halfway, bend the elbows. Press back up to plank. Hips high, down dog. Inhale, plank shape. Chaturanga, bend the elbows halfway. Press up, plank, down dog. Good. Inhale, forward, plank. Slow chaturanga, exhale. Now cobra or upward facing dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. A few deep breaths. 
knowing that we can always drop it into child's pose. And then inhale through the nose. Out of the mouth, exhale. Stretching our left heel toward the earth. Inhale your right heel straight up to the sky. Strongly rolling the top of the thigh down so all five toes point down. On the exhale, pull the knee forward. Hover here as you draw the low belly in around the spine. Inhale, press back three-legged palm. Exhale, draw forward as if you could give the knee a kiss. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, knee pulls forward, pause. Lightly placing our right foot between the hands or use the hand to help. We feel lunge here. Good. Pulsing together, inhale, round the spine, gaze at the knee. Exhale, open the heart, reach through the back heel to the crown. Inhale, gathering. Exhale, heart opening. Good, and one more here, inhale. Exhale, open. Slide your left thumb toward the right inner arch. Bring your right hand to your hip crease. Twist navel and heart toward the right thigh. Breathe here as you sit into the right hip, or the fingertips can reach through the sky. And we gently lean back as we reach, extending through the crown of the head. Two deep breaths. Full inhale. Exhale, release your hands to the inside of the right foot. Walk over to the left long edge of your mat. Toes in just slightly. Fingertips under shoulders. Feel a lengthening breath in. Folding. Exhale. So chin softening in toward the chest. Crown of the head pouring to the earth. Feel the thigh bones pressing back as the weight gently shifts forward toward the balls of the feet. So if you'd like to deepen, you can walk your fingertips back in line with the toes. You could hook the big toes here if you'd like. You're enjoying any variation that calls to you. Last two here. Fingertips under shoulders. Once again, feel a lengthening inhale. Now turn back into your right leg. Exhale, lunge. Step your right foot back about a foot. Spin onto the pinky toe edges of both feet. Allow the right knee to open. As you inhale, sweep your right arm through the sky. So drop this back foot the other way. Yeah, perfect. So a version of our side plank. And then this top arm could sweep over the ear as you radiate through the fingertips, the hips rise. Last deep breath. Exhale, touch the earth, plank shape. Chaturanga, lower. Inhale and opening up. Good. Downward facing dog. Exhale, three deep breath. Cleansing breaths when we feel tension rise. Fingers spread nice and wide, palms rooting. We're lengthening our right heel toward the earth. Inhale our left heel straight up to the sky. Roll the top of the thigh down so the toes point down. On the exhale, pull the knee forward and pause. We round. Inhale, lengthen back, three-legged dog. Exhale, pulling forward, low belly draws in. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, from the strength of the core, pull forward, stepping our left foot between the hands. 
Feel lunge, settle in. Three breaths here together. Inhale, we round and gather energy. Exhale, back heel away, front shin forward, extend through the crown. Inhale, pulsing up, moving just in the spine. Exhale, opening. And last cycle, inhale, round. Exhale, radiate. Right thumb moves toward the left inner arch. Left hand to the hip crease. Just navel and heart toward the thigh. Pressing into the right hand. Inhale, left arm through the sky if you have the space. Good. Take a deep seat in the left hip and start to lean back. Back of the right thigh lifting for two more breaths. Full inhale. Exhale, hands shift to the inside of your foot. Walk to the right long edge of your mat. Parallel the feet. So first we're just feeling the forward fold here. Wide leg and forward. Yeah. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Bow in, exhale. So here, using this as a little self-practice, you can get into the shoulders. You can enjoy any arm variation that falls to you. So if you're feeling really far away from the earth, consider widening the stance. If you're closer to the earth, consider shortening the stance. So we'll turn the volume up a little bit in your shape. And last two breaths here. If your hands aren't already on the earth, release. Feel a lengthening breath in. Exhale, turn back into your left leg and lunge. Stepping this foot back, and then lifting the arches. You spin onto the pinky toe sides of the feet, and onto the right hand as your left fingertips reach through the sky. Yeah, good. And then you can start to dial these left toes open 90 degrees if you have the space in the hip. One more breath. Taking the top arm overhead. Exhale, touch the earth. Stepping back to plank with control. Chaturanga, lower exhale. Opening the heart, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Few deep breaths here. Child's pose if it calls to you. Shoulders roll back and down, good, standing tall in Tadasana. So 
So we're rooting through the left foot and catch your right leg. It can be knee in hand, foot in hand. You can go under the calf here if you'd like. The right foot is flexed. And then we open and close the hip. Try to spread the weight even across the standing foot without gripping in our toes. Last two breaths here. And as we release, we wrap our left thigh over our right, uh, sorry, our right over our left. And our left arm goes over the right. Send your elbows away from you and lift your fingertips to the sky. Good. Sit low as if we're in Utkatasana, our chair. Beautiful. Navel in for two more breaths. unwind and come towards standing, slide your right ankle above the left knee. So it's like we're making the number four with our legs, hands to the heart, then sitting in our right leg. Flex the foot. So option to stay here, shoulders over hips, or enjoying the forward fold. You can use a block to support your practice here under the hands. If you're in the fold, head and neck can soften. If you are moving toward the arm balance, you can walk the hands forward a little bit, planting the palms, and shift forward and hook the toes around the left tricep, weight in the hands, the left heel starts to lighten off the earth. Oh, and then maybe radiate that leg. Good, two deep breaths. Wonderful, gently come out the way you came in, take your time. And release, we enjoy the second side. So the right foot is now rooting. We catch our left leg, again, knee and foot either in the hands or you can go under the calf, so whatever feels more available. And just gently rock the hip open and close. Keeping our left foot flexed. And reaching through the crown for two more breaths. Now let's wrap our left thigh over our right Garudasana. Our right arm goes over our left, so opposite of what the legs are doing, yeah? Hugging the thighs, sitting low, elbows stretch away and fingertips to the sky, so you feel this across the upper back. Wonderful, two more full breaths. As we gently unwind, sliding our left ankle above the right knee, hands at Anjali Mudra, the heart, and then taking a deep seat in our right leg, flexing the left foot. Take your time as you come into your edge. You're welcome to stay here, or once again, we can enjoy the forward fold. Try to ungrip the right toes and spread the weight even across the foot. If you're enjoying the arm balance, I like to walk my hands forward a little bit and then shift forward so my elbows and shoulders are stacked over my wrists, firmly hooking my left toes and lifting off. And maybe radiating that back leg. Wonderful. Two more here. Very slowly coming out the way we came in. Take your time. Ah, and release. Standing at the 
top of our mat, feet together, hands at the heart. Take a full breath here to slow down. Exhale, releasing the hands. Inhale, arms to the sky, lifting knee. Exhale, bow forward, reaching out. Feel lengthening, inhale, flat back. Step or floating back, chaturanga, soft elbows if you float. Inhale, open the heart. Down dog, exhale, breathe it in. And let it go, heels lengthening toward the earth. Full inhale. Exhale, breathe. Reaching your left heel toward the mat. Inhale, our right heel straight up to the sky. Exhale, pull the knee in toward the nose and pause. Inhale, press back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to right elbow. See if you can get the upper arm as you shift forward. Wonderful. Inhale, press back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Can you get the upper arm? Good. Inhale, press back. Now as we exhale, we pull the knee straight through. Place your right foot between your hands. And pause. Good. So option here, back knee up or down. I'll show it with the knee up, your choice. Right hand standing on the thigh. Inhale, our left arm to the sky. So we grow tall on the in-breath. As we exhale, we press the right thigh away, go deeper into the heart. And on the inhale, we coil in. Exhale, standing on the right thigh, deepen. Good. Inhale, coil up. Exhale, press the right thigh away, go deeper into the heart. Inhale, we rise. Now feel the twist. Cross your left elbow to the outside of the right leg. You can volume down and drop the knee. Place your right palm on top of the left. And feel the twist here. Good. Drawing the navel in. Lengthening through the crown. Option here to fly the arms open if you'd like. Finding is part of your practice. Enjoy. One more breaths. Beautiful. Gently unwind. Touch the earth. The back knee is lifted. Release. Draw the hips back. Ardha Hanumanasana. Right toes to the sky. And just fold here. You need to back off, walking your fingertips closer to the hips. If you need a little more, fingertips walk toward the front of our mat. Melting the spine into the heart to feel a little cobra action in the upper spine. And last. New breath, bend, front knee, shift forward, open the heart, step back, plank, and pause. Feet together, rolling over right side plank, legs can stack, or you can step your left foot in front of the right knee, volume down. If the legs are stacked, flexing the feet, maybe the left arm sweeps over the ears, we Radiate through the fingertips. Deep inhale. Exhale, touch the earth plank. With control, left side, Ashisasana. Choosing where you'd like to go. Sweeping the right fingertips to the sky. Taking that arm over the ear as we press through the hips. Imagine pressing the mat away from you for one more inhale. Exhale, plank shape. Chaturanga or downward facing. Deep inhale. Down dog, exhale. Good. A few breaths. Child shape if you need. 
need the lunar cause. Wherever you are, using this as a place to come back into balance. Inviting full, expansive breaths. Slowing down. Two more here. As you're ready, feeling down dog. Lengthening our right heel toward the earth. Inhale, left heel straight up to the sky. Exhale, pull the knee in toward the nose. Low belly draws in. Inhale, lengthening back with control. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Can we get the upper arm? Good. Inhale, press back. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Upper arm if it's available. Inhale, lengthen back. Pull the knee in. Slowly, left foot between the hands. Feel your mind. Keep grounded. Good. Back knee up or down. Left hand standing on the thigh. Breathe your right arm through the sky. Grow tall on the in-breath. Then press the left thigh away as you exhale, deepen into the heart. Inhale, foiling up. Exhale, stand on the left thigh and deepen. Good. Inhale, feel the pulse. Exhale, go deep. Rising inhale. Now we feel the twist. Our back heel is lifted. Good. And pressing top palm into bottom. Resisting the urge to let the belly rest on the thigh. So drawing in at the navel. Lengthening through the crown. Arm variations here. If they call to you, you can fly the arms open. Enjoy the bind. A couple more. Gently releasing. Touch the earth. Back knee down if it was lifted. Untuck the toes. Ardha Hanuman or half splits. Drawing back. And empty out. Remember, if you need to back off, fingertips walk closer to the hips. If you need to go deeper, fingertips walk forward toward the top of our back. A little back bend action happening in the upper spine. Last two here. Then into the front knee, shift forward, plant your palms, plank shape, and pause. Feet together, left side plank. So any variation here with the legs, you can take a tree shape. You can also explore hooking the big toes and straightening the leg. You can feel a little back bend and dance your right toes behind the left knee. Flipping hips and heart to the sky for one more breath. Good. Exhale, plank. And on to the right side. Good. We're choosing variations here or modifying as you need to. You are taking the back bend, left toes behind the right knee, and flipping. Touch the earth, exhale, control, chaturanga. Open up, inhale, down dog, exhale. Few deep breaths here. Let's all drop the knees, feel child's shape. 